Greetings, everyone. Nathan Nardark here from Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. With me, I'm hanging out with some nerds. Ted. Ryan. Nerd Steve. Today we're talking about hitting them hard, hitting them where it hurts. We're talking about criticals. Jump down to the description below where you can sign up for Nerdarchy, the newsletter. It's a great way to get gaming tips as well as learn how to game with Nerdarchy. All right, so we have the crittiest critting critter who ever critted as a character build. All right. I'm not going to try and say that again. Yeah, <laughs> you, can, you can say that again five times fast. So I was just thinking, like, what would be the possible build that would have the highest odds of, uh, of critting? And that brings us to the halfling who gets to reroll ones. Yeah, yeah that's a standard base. You know, you standard get to base that. race. Fighter champion by 15th level crits on an 18 plus. So re-rolling those ones, like maybe you're going to roll 18 because you have 15% chance to, to roll that on the die. But those, that 15th level only gives you so far. So uh, what do we add into that? Do well, there's a couple of, like concepts we're playing with here. Yeah. One is the idea that the more D20s you roll, the, the better more, the odds are in your favor. The more options, the more chances you have of rolling a 20. Well, right. the, the great way to get advantage or the way to roll more dice is to go with Assassin. Because opening round, opening round of combat, if you go first, you get advantage. Well, not only that though. Even before you get to that, being a halfling fighter fighting with multiple weapons, two weapons. Singles, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, get, you know, your bonus action gives you another attack. Yeah. So you're going to do the double short sword situation. A fifteenth level fighter, you're three attacks deep, and the, with your bonus action, that's a fourth attack. And if you decide to action surge at that point, I don't know if they get action surge twice or not. But fifteenth level, I think so. Um, but you're going to, you're at least once per short, per short oh, rest. I'm wrong. You're wrong. How high is it? 18? 17. 17. Yeah. Okay. But at least once per short rest, you're, you're going to get to roll a slew of dice. A flurry of dice. <laughs> yeah. So we got now the assassin, rogue assassin advantage on all those attacks in the opening round they're all crits when they hit uh so that's happening uh so th those are really good now there might be that off chance that even with advantage on those rolls and re-rolling ones you could miss oh no but he gets another shot because he's got the lucky feet so lucky will let you re-roll any of those uh any of those missed dies and gives you another chance to up to your to, your lucky yeah. points yeah yeah exactly you get those three up up to three and I think the odds with a fighter that's specked out to hit missing out well, of three dice. But it's die. not about it's not about hitting. It's about no, getting it's those a, crits. Well, I mean, but in the opening around the assassin, they're yeah, guaranteed. That's, oh, that's true. That's yeah. true as well. Yeah, guaranteed to crit that time around. Now, another little thing about the lucky feat is if you happen to have disadvantage, you can spend that lucky point, roll the die, and then you've got a choice out of the three dice. Yeah, yeah, super advantage. Advantage. Yeah, yeah, super advantage. So this character really thrives in the opening salvo of combat, taking things down, and then you're on di diminishing returns. But in future rounds, you're still rolling a lot of dice, critting on a, a you know fifteen percent chance of, of hitting, and ones are reroll to see again if you hit and or if not crit. If you want to be a real asshole player, yeah. and uh, I'm just totally going to call this out because it's it'll be a thing that happens because it's an <laughs> asshole thing that the players like to do. Why short swords and not fight with two rapiers? They're just goofy. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it absolutely happens, and I hate it. I hate it with a passion, and I will never let a character that Especially I play do that. Especially a small character. Like the worst is like, all right, it's just it's just goofy because it's like you're fencing from both sides or something like that. If you're if you're wielding a uh, rapier in each hand, but it's really silly for a small character to double rapier. I, I agree, and but by the, raw, it is doable. It's le it's legal. It's not right, but it's legal. <laughs> and, and of course, to do that, you would have to take the dual weapon wielder Correct. feet. Mm -hmm. But it, I've seen it done. And you need to also, you know, go with the the fighting style for two weapon fighting to get the uh, stat modifier of your offhand. But uh, I do feel like players that do that should of, often be harassed by paladins of anti-douchery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just they just go, they just wander in droves of mobs looking for these these players using Two brave peers at once. It's just a chance for two extra damage. It's not worth the, the, the ridicule, the, the negative style the points, so, the social stigma. It's just not worth it. Yeah. yeah. So other. So if, you, so if you're gonna, you know, be bringing this build to the table, just stick with short swords, man. Just well, I could even swords. see. Um, I, I think scimitar is legal, and what I, I've I've done things where I've reskinned the scimitar to not be that character dual wielding scimitars. Um, but I've called them like machetes, so like big heavy knives or whatever. Right. Because I don't want to do the dark elf thing, the dark elf ranger thing. It's so passe. 
Uh, they are definitely light finesse weapons because of Drid's Yeah, Jordan. pretty much, pretty much. Uh, is other feats that would get the honorable mention, I would think, would be uh, the the duelist fighting style because you're probably not going to slather on the heavy armor because you're going to angle towards the twenty decks as quickly as possible. Right. So that makes a lot of sense. So now, are there other honorable mentions that we want to bring up? So, like, if you if you aren't really interested in going with rerolling those ones and you wanted to stack on the more damage, you can go with the half orc mm -hmm. and every time you crit, add an extra weapon die. We also discussed the option of yeah, interchanging works. assassin with paladin. Yeah. Right. For for getting die eights. Yeah. And, and more versatility you, and And you have a little more control of how you use them as well. Now grant you know, granted <laughs> Now, if you wanted to really be disgusting, you could go like three levels of assassin and two levels of paladin, of paladin mm -hmm. just so you get some of your some smite, mm -hmm. smite on demand. That's nice. Yeah, you wouldn't have as much of it to do, but when you do like that, like we talked about that open open salvo, and you just wanted to burn everything, mm -hmm. you could and just just roll dice everywhere. And, and you'd and have three fighting styles at that point. And doesn't the paladin? No well, two that. two fighting styles. Doesn't the paladin? Um, their bonus from charisma is that from second? They get that from second level one. He's correct though. Champion gets two. Oh, two at fifth. Yeah, you know, but tenth and uh, we got first and tenth. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. So there champions are like the the fighter fighter. <laughs> You'd actually have like an extra one where you're like, I don't know what to do with this one. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'll just take the one to get the plus one to AC. Yeah. Th th that's your, that's your second one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, because you got the two weapon fighting, right? Oh, yeah. You're gonna take defense. It's your plus one AC, and then I don't know. I I probably change it up and say, well, maybe I don't fight with. No. You always fight with two shorts, right? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about doing the, the shield. I mean, if you want an extra armor, you're still going to get those three attacks. Yeah. It's just, and you can use your bonus action for something at that point instead. Well, you know, you could sometimes decide to throw on the shield, take the shield fee, um, and then also take the duelist fighting style. Yeah, for when you're like fighting a dragon or yeah, something, yeah. you need to have some extra protection and and a uh, deck save bonuses. I was thinking you know you might veer off a little bit, take take the one that uh, lets you help out somebody else. No, yeah, protection. protection, protection, yeah. It still requires a shield, though. Oh, because yeah. you, you're, you're getting confused with the unearth arcana cleric uh, protector domain, where you don't actually need the shield to do it. Ah, <laughs> you okay. just do it. You could just slap, use your hand, and slap it out of the way. <laughs> just how I roll. Ugh. You know, the, there's a there's a, the couple different iterations. Uh, I I think five levels of rogue, fifteenth levels of, of fighter champion. With the halfling is gonna is gonna fairly soar, but if you're not wanting to be the the sneaky, or if you don't want to wind up being the halfling, the half orc, and mixing it up with paladin seems to have some fun. You you could also <laughs> if you're going down that road, you could also go half orc, uh, barbarian, champion, and paladin. Mm. So what what is what is barbarian advantage give us here? Extra dice, to, uh, extra weapon dice when you crit. And what level do they get that at? At ninth, thirteenth, and there might be one at much higher level. Oh, see if you're doing that though, then you need to you'll you'll have less less critting. Yeah, oh yeah, you won't crit as often, but when you do crit for the love of God, it will hurt so <laughs> yeah, very bad. True. Yeah. Plus the when you're raging, there's just out now extra damage. Extra damage is Although nice. you start to build more towards a strength build character, um, as far as that goes. So mm -hmm. that that's gonna be well, there's nothing to say that you couldn't, you know, if you're going to go half work, you're probably going to do a strength build anyway. Yeah, but. yeah. I mean, that, that's what would make sense. And you're you're going with, you know, just doing more damage as opposed to critting more often. So uh, what do you guys out there think? Did we miss anything? Uh, do you disagree with anything? Put it in the comments below while you're at it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can find us over on Facebook. Check us out at nerdarchy.com. You can also patronize us in a good way over on Patreon. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.